Hello and welcome to Modern is Pantry, where we help you transform food in your kitchen. I'm Janie. I'm Roman. And today we are doing one of our recipe review episodes where we are actually live testing a recipe, meaning that Roman's going to do this recipe for you today on camera. He's never done it before, but nope. so we're always excited first to time, try it. First time, first time. Mm -hmm. right. So today's recipe, it's going to be from one of the Modernist Cuisine bread books. This book came out uh, a few years, a few years ago, ago, I think three years but ago. it's, you know, another one of those six tome, like mega ones, and it's a lot of information. So we thought today we would try one of the most exciting looking recipes in this book, which will be, ta-da, the sourdough cherry and chocolate chip bread, which uh, looks amazing, so I can't it wait to do really, it. It looks really good. Yeah. So, Roman, as usual, when you have a recipe, you pour over it for weeks and uh, pretty oh, much memorize it. Can you yep. talk a little bit about this recipe and what you found was interesting about yeah, it? Yeah, I, uh, honestly, I am um, very excited to, you know, delve into this book, Modernist Bread. Uh, I was a big fan of the Modernist, Pan Modernist Cookbook, which uh, like kind of revolutionized the way we look at food and you know how we go about working mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Um, and being a chef for so many years, it was just like, it was like kind of a Bible. So like getting into this Modernist Bread was amazing. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not like the biggest bread maker, you know, like, you know, every now and then I would, you know, you know, I might, I might make a uh, steam bun, you know, here okay. and there, but uh, never really into the artisan breads, um, as as you put it. And so I was very excited to get into this. So I like poured over it, I read over it. Uh, Francisco Mayoga, the author of this book, mm -hmm. amazing. You know, I, I watched some of his uh, YouTube symposiums. Uh, they did a great one on fermentation. I thought it was really cool. awesome where they delve into fermentation, the processes mm -hmm. and, and whatnot. I think that's real interesting. If you're interested in that, go check that out. Mm -hmm. But this, this recipe looks really cool. You got cherry pie filling, like who doesn't like cherry pie? Uh, you got chocolate chips and you got sourdough, you know? And so um, I thought the hardest process in coming up with this, th making this recipe was actually the starter. Okay. All right, so right here, I have uh, some of the starter that I actually got from a friend that I met at Whole Foods. Ooh. His name is Anson. Anson, a shout out to you. This was awesome. Um, I did put together my own Levain that I thought was really well, you know, very live, energetic. Um, but when Anson gave me this and I put it next to my Levain, I was kind of like, mm -hmm. oh, I think I'm going to use this one. <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to so we're going to use this Whole Foods Levain to uh, come up with our bread today. It's Perfect. awesome. Yeah. And so. if you're like one of those people who during the pandemic was baking all these sourdoughs, yep. now is a new way that you can do it. So I'm excited to see how this recipe goes. Me too. It's uh, it's fairly simple. Um, there's a lot of downtime. Mm -hmm. So um, you're, you're talking about mixing the dough. You're talking about a, a four hour ferment, bulk fermentation. And then you're talking about 16 to eight hour proof overnight in your fridge before you can cook it the next day. Okay. So. You know, you do kind of have to plan for it, um, make time, uh, and you, and you got to get your starter going about five days before you're even going to make the bread. So that's an important part. For me, I thought the most important part in doing this recipe was the starter. I did learn a lot about it as we were, I was going through the process. Okay, let's dive right so into let's, it. So let's just get into it. So this is pretty, pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our water. Now, I usually temp the water out to about 70 five Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. all right, and then uh, we're gonna go with our starter. I mean, it, it, people call it starter, Levain, um, Poolish, Bigger, there's, there's tons of names for this, um, but we're gonna go with the classic French Levain, which, cool. which sounds cool, actually. So we get a starter in there. We're just, just gonna mix that up a little bit, and then once that's ready, and kind of broken down, it doesn't have to be broken down all the way, you just wanna kind of break it down a little bit in, mm -hmm. in that water. And then we're gonna add our flour. We're gonna add our bran, wheat bran. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add our biting gluten flour. That'll give the, uh, the bread some strength, give mm -hmm. it the, the gluten a little bit of extra punch. Uh, Non-diastatic malt. Is it non-diastatic or diastatic? This is, this is diastatic okay. actually. Mm -hmm. So, I always get those confused. I know. They sound very similar. So that is one of our Modernist Pantry ingredients, and you can find that in the link in the description below. Typically, it adds like some color, it adds flavor. A little bit of flavor and to it. And in this book, it also said it feeds the yeast. Yes, it does. So there you go. 
All right, so I'm just gonna give this a little mix. Now, if you're if you're a real hardcore baker, you're gonna go in with your hands on this. Mm -hmm. I am not, so I'm gonna go yeah. with this. One of the things <laughs> I love about ways. doing recipe reviews is that it also gets Roman out of his comfort zone because right. it's always like a challenge. Again, like we never we've never done this, so he's not a baker. So let's nope, see how it goes. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> That's not an excuse, though. That's not an excuse. So we're gonna now get. I'm gonna get my hands in there now, actually. Okay. We'll give that. We'll give that a couple of turns. Mm -hmm. Now, because we're gonna add that cherry pie filling later, mm -hmm. um, we they account for the water in this recipe. So normally we would go in with their normal master sourdough recipe mm -hmm. calls for 315 grams of water. Okay. Um, so we adjusted it because we're gonna add that cherry pie filling to 215 grams. So okay. So if the dough looks a little stiffer than it normally. Would look mm -hmm. sourdough. You know, you got you got. There's a lot of there's a lot of critics out there. You know, I just want to let them know. Just want to let them know that. Following the <laughs> they found the recipe to a T. All right. All right. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna get this. All right, right there, like that, and then we're gonna leave that to all the lays for about 15 minutes. Uh, that what that'll do is that'll uh, jumpstart our enzymic qualities in the bread. All right. So we'll put that there and we'll wait about 20 to 15 minutes. Then we'll add our start. We'll add our salt, and then after that, we'll start our four-hour bulk fermentation. Cool. We'll be back. All right. We'll be back. All right. It's been about half an hour, an hour, and now yep. we're into the folding process. And now we get to one of the fun parts: putting in our mixins. Let's talk about what's happening right here. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our fold. Mm -hmm. So one hour into our bulk fermentation, uh, we start to fold, um, and what's happening is we're folding the dough is building carbon dioxide mm -hmm. and we're just going to fold it over each other. That is going to strengthen the gluten okay. and it's also going to hold the, uh, the CO2 that's making in there. Okay. So, uh, so right now we're going to fold. It's, four, it's a four side fold. So what we're going to do, I got a little bit of water here because mm -hmm. um, sometimes this thing gets a little bit sticky. Mm -hmm. so we just drop, drop it in there and we're going to turn it over. As you can see, this is the seam side down. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw one fold in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna two folds. Pretty this is pretty simple. Right. Um, and we're gonna do this six times after the first hour of bulk fermentation. All right, now that we got that four folds in there, mm -hmm. we have our cherry pie filling. Ooh. Um, and then we have our chocolate chips. All right, and, and this we just bought, right? We just bought this. This Perfect. is this is canned. Mm -hmm. Um as it says in the book, uh, they're very consistent with their cherry pie filling, so mm -hmm. rather than try to, you know, make it yourself and right. you don't know how it's going to come out, um, they just say it's better you just buy the can. All right. So uh, we did our fold, and now we're going to add our cherry pie filling in there. Okay. So in the book, they say to you add it slowly, and then you do like a squeeze fold method. So All right. this looks like it's going to get a little messy, okay. but I'm here for it. So let's start. I'm going to just put a little bit in there. And as I put in there, and uh, they'll say, keep one hand clean. So this will be my clean hand. And then we'll fold and pull and do that. And that looks really messy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you can see the gases. Yeah. Here coming out of there. When do you add in the and chocolate the, chips? Uh, we'll do that slowly. OK. All right. Oh, so that's, that's, that's a okay. mess. That's a mess. <laughs> that is a mess. All right. But, uh, all right, we're not going to like spend all of our time doing the folding, and uh, but you know, you get the gist. And you then get the after gist. this, how many more times are you going to fold and it? And then we're going to fold. So this is, that was our, our second fold. Mm -hmm. So we have four more folds after this. That's a fold every half an hour. Okay. And why are we, did they say why are we um, adding our mixings early on as opposed to at the very well, end? Well, you want to add it in now because uh, what you are trying to do is build that carbon dioxide, you don't want to lose it. Mm -hmm. And so if you add it in later, it'll, the CO2 will come out. So you want to do it early on. Mm -hmm. And then so when you get the, f the rest of the folds, which would be four more folds, you'll keep that CO2 in there. All right, we'll be back after four more folds. All right, <laughs> and I'll be here doing this. <laughs> so now that we have our bulk fermentation pretty much done, we got all our six folds in. Um, I'm going to shape the dough real quickly here and then we'll get it into our banneton to proof overnight. All right, you wanna throw a liberal amount of flour on your bench, and then you wanna get your, your dough, which will be quite sticky out there, and then you just wanna 
give it a couple of folds. I'll just fold it in on itself about four times. And then I'll kind of I'll kind of use my pinkies here to make a bull. And then once that's done, that's ready to go into our badminton. And I'm just going to liberally throw some of our bread flour on here. We're going to set our dough carefully into, into the badminton. And then this is going to go into the fridge for 16 to 18 hours. Tomorrow we'll pull it out. We'll test it to make sure that it's risen enough, and then we'll bake it in the oven. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it is day two, and you might be able to see it. Look at this dough. It is so cute and I, pink and fluffy. <laughs> I have to admit, it came out a lot. I mean, like I said uh, yesterday, not used to be really making these kind of sourdoughs, mm -hmm. um, these artisan breads. Um, but from reading the, the modernist book and like, you know, going through all the, uh, the directions, how to do everything. I think that I kind of nailed this. I'm, I'm just, you know, he's, whatever. He's giving myself a little I, pat I, on the back I, right I, now. Yeah. I think I nailed this one. This is like, this looks just like the photo. Um, as you can see, uh, when it's when it's proofed and ready to go to the oven, you uh, you give it a little tap like that, and that should come right back, just like that. that we, Right? Am, yes. am I wrong? No, it's okay. No, okay. it is pretty good. So, All right, so, so we're gonna put it into the oven. What's the time and temp here? Okay, so uh, temperature is your loading temperature is 500. Okay. Your baking temperature is 470. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna I got a pizza peel in the oven. So we got a pizza peel in the oven. Uh, pizza peel, excuse me. Pizza stone okay. in the oven. Um, we're gonna cover it with a pot. Okay. And we're gonna cook that for 35 minutes, and then the last five minutes of cooking, we're gonna take that pot off. That pot's on there to create steam. That'll give it a nice crust. Okay. All right. Let's go. So let's 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 get this done. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of the flour on the peel, and then we're just gonna tip this over ever so slightly. I'm scared, like I'm gonna like all the. Oh, all right. Ooh, look, look at that. that. Huh? Beautiful. And, uh, and then we're gonna score it. I've, also never done this before, so, you know, we're just going to do it. Let's All try right, it out. you so can we're gonna do, do it. A couple of scores. We're going to do one here. And they say just use the tip, so we're just going to use the tip of the, the razor. And the, Oh, that look came out. Yeah, I'm just going to throw it over there. And then All right, do that. I okay. think you're going to get into baking. All right, here we go. So this is going to go Hi. in the oven. All right. It's going to go right on there. And now we're gonna cover it with a pot. We're gonna cook it for to 40 total minutes. We're gonna take the pot off the last five minutes of cooking. The steam will give it a nice crust and then when we take the top off, it'll finish baking. So, ready to go after that. All right, the bread is done. It is the moment of truth. I throw on the first day, say, this looks beautiful. I love it, this. It came out really nice. It has a nice crunchy top, yeah. um, beautiful color. No. Also, yes. Uh, I love the way the uh, chips are just poking right out of it. So um, they look like raisins. They kind of do look yeah. like raisins, which I'm not very fond of, but yeah, well, whatever. So All just right. remember, so we are doing recipe review as a new type of episode that we're doing. If you've been enjoying them, remember to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button so we'll do more recipe reviews in the future. And if you have something that you would like us to review, drop send that it in. on in. Send yeah. it on in. Drop it. Drop it in the links. Drop it in the description below. All right. All right, let's cut let's in. Go. Let's cut into this. Oh, yes. sounds great. Sounds Got beautiful, that. nice crust. Oh. Oh, it's so soft and fluffy. Yeah, the inside is kind of, let's get a nice look at that. That, that looks great. That's beautiful, look at that. Whoa. No, I'm, ah, I'm, I'm, all right. I'm not gonna do it, but it looks beautiful. All, all right, right, let's go a couple let's pieces. Some, let's get some pieces let's going. Let's get some. Right. Let me just okay. get a little piece of that right there. And I will, I'm gonna have it without the butter, mm. first off. Oh, I got a chocolate chip right off the bat. So good. Mmm, mm. that is really good. I, li I like the cherry pie taste. It's not too overwhelming. I thought it might be. Mm. All right, I need another bite because I got mostly chocolate wow. on my first bite. That is really good. Super, super soft in, this, in the center of this. This is like mm -hmm. super fluffy. It's got a really nice crumb. Um, it's, it's, 
It's not as open as I thought it'd be. It's, it's a little more dense than I thought the creme would be, but still very nice, very soft. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. The flavor, is, yeah, the flavor is very complex. Mm. So you've got that sourdough. It's got the sourness. Yep. It has some sweetness from the cherry, but it's not like, it's not like cherry. I wouldn't call it it's, cherry flavored. No, I wouldn't say it. Just yeah. hints of it. You get it on the, on the back. Mm hmm. And then um, you get the little warm, gooey but, chocolate. But the chocolate oh, is like, God. look at that. That's like gorgeous. This is so is good. So this is from the Modernist Cuisine Bread Book, and I would say this is a uh, this is a winning recipe. I think this is a winning recipe. Yeah. This might be. This, I mean, as far as like, mm. um, just just the sheer amount of information in that book alone mm -hmm. that I had to look through. This might be my favorite recipe review so far because mm. I think I probably learned the most doing this one as opposed to doing the other ones. Not to say that they weren't great. You know, I loved I loved the the floss, impossible uh, chef steps foie gras, but honestly, this might be my favorite one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna eat this whole loaf. It is it is really that it's good. Really that if good. you're like I'm a baker and I'm looking for a new recipe to like wow yeah. people. Go for this one. So we're gonna. I don't know if we can post it. It's not our recipe, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see if we but, can. You know, we'll, if we'll, not, modern is cuisine. Let's, let's get in contact with them and see. Yeah. You know, maybe we can get them in the kitchen. That'd be great. Oh, that'll mm. be fun. Mm. All right. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week's recipe review. Mm. We know that we enjoyed it. We're gonna eat this bread. And until next week, from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie. I'm Roman. Are you gonna give the Whole Foods guy a shout out for giving you the I order? was thinking about you it, should. but I should Because he might watch it and he would be like, I gave him that oh, sourdough. No, he didn't I, say I, uh, anything about so, it at all. So I told him, you know, I was talking to him and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, um, we have videos on YouTube. So like, he goes right to him on his phone, he goes, is that you? And I go, yeah, that's me right there. He's like, oh, that's awesome. 